Hi, Tile at Inner Fidelity here. Today we're going to talk about something near and dear to my heart, which is the do-it-yourself uh, enthusiast in the world of headphones. Um, really, the headphone world started out with DIYers. I was a DIYer before I started Headroom. Uh, Ray was a DIYer, Justin was a DIYer, there's a lot of do-it-yourselfers out there who ended up going into business and actually being part of the commercial side of headphones. But I love the enthusiasm and the fun that folks have building their own gear. I love to see people's gear at meets. Um, Frank Cooter's amps, for example, are just explosions of exquisite do-it-yourselfness. Um, so I love that part of the activity and it's going to be featured regularly at Inner Fidelity. Today we're going to talk about the orthodynamic geeks and uh, their thunderpants and whatnot. And um, I've been reading on the orthodynamic roundup thread all the talk about damping and so on and so forth. I learned a lot in the process of reading there as I prepared for my How Planar Magnetic Headphones Work article. And uh, I thought it would be a great idea for these guys to, uh, you guys, to be able to um, see the measurements of your headphones. It's awful hard um, really getting a grip on what's going on inside your headphones just by listening alone. You can't see really what's happening as you move things around. It's, it's not easy to perceive. And so I thought it would be cool to offer my help uh, by measuring uh, many of the orthodynamic do-it-yourself headphones so that there would be an objective uh, feedback um, for you guys to play around with your damping and and I'm sure with all the dialogue and your enthusiasm you'll be able to work through the data sheets and and what you've done to the headphones and be able to figure out um, how to improve um, your work and uh, and so I've received the first two of these headphones to measure. <clears throat> and uh, I was thinking this morning, well, this is great. Um, we should make it into a contest. <laughs> um, there's a lot of motorcycle magazines that uh, people tweak up their motorcycles and put them on dy dynamometers. And then they have contests to uh, see which is the which got the most performance out of their bike. Now, I don't really think it's a competition, but just to make it more fun... Um, I thought we'd run a contest and um, we'll have three prizes, the best head measuring headphone, the worst measuring headphone, and the coolest looking headphone. Uh, I'll judge them. The contest is going to run uh, through April 1st of next year, so there'll be plenty of time to get lots of headphones in here to measure. And the winner of the contest will receive my uh, LCD2 uh, Odyssey headphones. Uh, they currently look like this um, because I took them apart during the planar magnetic uh, article, uh, but I'll put them back together for you. The first two headphones that we that I got were uh, both uh, Vostex uh, T50 RPs. Um, this one from On the Revet. It's a really nice job keeping the original headband. And um, I, I'm not familiar really with all the ins and outs of the DIY world, so this is going to be an education for me as I get to sample your wares. Um, this headphone measured very, very well. Uh, I have to say that um, it's pretty obvious from the performance of this headphone uh, that you really can get some great sound um, from the T50RP uh, orthodynamic driver or planar magnetic driver. Um, at any rate, I really enjoyed these on the Revet. I really appreciate you sending them in and um, uh, the measurements are here on the page uh, as on the next page um, as you go farther in the article. Um, but great job. These uh, look good. They wear well. Um, and they sound really terrific. Uh, I thought there was a bit of uh, withdrawn in the upper uh, mid-range lower treble area. You'll be able to see it on the graphs a little bit um, and that it seems a little kind of splashy up on top or something. 
Um, nonetheless, uh, I, I was quite surprised at the performance of these headphones. Great job. Uh, these are from TJ. These are um, quite a marvelous assemblage of gadgetry. Uh, we've got the ergonomic uh, headband with foam here um, and the uh, large steam puck uh, earpieces and the uh, 90 degree angle silicon connector. Um, I don't want to laugh at you, man. Really, I don't. <laughs> uh, and I don't laugh at you because, you know, this is a lot of fun. And we're going to have to take this as this whole adventure is going to be quite interesting to see the types of things people come up with. So um, I hope you'll laugh with me um, when I say that these things measured abominably. Um, uh, near perfect 100% harmonic distortion below 100 hertz. So it's quite an achievement. Um, I have to say that Dugga... Uh, actually got uh, a higher score in that regard, uh, chiming in with uh, nearly 100% harmonic distortion across the entire spectrum with his Thunderpants. So, um, so you've got a little ways to go yet to make the bottom of the heap. Um, nonetheless, I had fun listening to him and, and measuring him and, uh, and seeing uh, folks work. So, great job, TJ. Uh, hope you don't, don't mind a little fun there. All right. Well, the details of the contest are on the uh, site, and uh, I look forward to measuring all the uh, thunder, uh, all the uh, orthodynamic do-it-yourself headphones out there, and um, I look forward to being part of uh, helping you guys improve your craft um, because. Uh, it's obvious from these headphones that the uh, dynamic dri or the uh, orthodynamic drivers, the magne planar magnetic drivers, are are capable of great sound, and it's evident from these that we're gonna keep have to keep working on it. So, thanks so much, guys, for sending them in. Thanks so much for coming by the page today, and uh, we'll see you in the orthodynamic roundup thread, and we'll see folks' uh, headphones measured over time. Thanks for stopping by.